Alright guys, today we're going to uh, do some hacking. Well, not really. It's, I wouldn't call it that. But anyway, uh, I'm sure you've heard of Magic Lantern for Canon uh, DSLR cameras. Uh, it's kind of custom firmware that adds features that may not have been available to you by the manufacturer, uh, such as you know removing the video limit restriction that is usually placed on these cameras to avoid attacks that qualifies them as a video camera. Uh, among others, that's just the one I find to be useful, uh, along with better bit, bit rates uh, to, to improve your video and other features like that. Um, I will warn you, uh, while this is probably safe, uh, neither I nor uh, the creators of this are responsible if you damage your camera. Of course, if you, if you do change the firmware from an unofficial version, Nikon's probably going to avoid your warranty if your camera is still under warranty. Okay, to get started, you need two things physically. Uh, of course, assuming you already have a computer, uh, you're going to need your camera and you're going to need an SD card, which you probably already have both if you're looking at this video. Um, so anyway, the one thing to remember is in order for this to work, the camera has had to have a firmware update release for it. So the newer ones like the D5300 and the D5500 and uh, I believe probably the D3300 and D7100. Um, these are probably not going to work because it basically goes off using the existing firmware update and patches over it to add some new features. Now, when you're ready, you just need to uh, go to downloadcenter.nikon imglib.com uh, slash ink en slash index dot html of course you can just go to nikon.com select pro like a product assistance and then go to firmware updater uh, you're going to select your product we're using the d5100 for this today that's a digital slr camera um, and it is right there you see the latest firmware is 1.02 which is what we need so you're just simply going to download the firmware of course depending on whether you use windows or mac this is where your, your choice could vary just save that to your downloads or wherever uh, once it's finished you're going to need to go to another website. Uh, first things first, I'm just going to extract this. Once you've done that, uh, you need to visit the Nikon uh, firmware patcher. Um, it's completely free. Don't worry about this. It's just optional donation. You can send them some money to help them keep the project going. Uh, but. Uh, one thing I had trouble with uh, when I've done this before is I tried to uh, use it on Chrome and it didn't work because it requires you to uh, install Silver, Silver Light, as you see there. Um, sometimes if you, can't, if you can't see anything here, you need to make sure that you have Microsoft Silver Light. I'll, I'll put all the links down in the description to get all these things. but. Uh, Usually it's going to pop up here and give you a little bar that tells you to uh, actually um, go ahead and install Silverlight. Okay, you see I refreshed it and it came up. Now what we want to do is just find that firmware file that we extracted earlier. It's, uh, the file is right here, d5100.0102.bin. Uh, now here's where things get... Uh, little interesting you can pick your own choices of things you want of course we want to remove the time-based video restrictions uh, live view manual control um, we're gonna try the 
36 megabytes a second bitrate. The 54 would technically be better, but it's gonna eat up your card really fast. What's that do? I guess it, if we select this one, it'll give us uh, both options for the 54 megabytes a second and 29 megabytes a second bitrate. So. We're gonna go with that one. HDMI output uh, 720p is fine. Uh, NEF compression. Um, I just usually turn it off. Uh, mm, for this particular camera, though, it's gonna create. Uh, Yeah, it's going to create it to be a little bit of pride. Choose lossless unless you really, really want to use it. There's a, an astrology menu uh, for if you take, if you know, you take pictures of stars. Let me try that. Um, what's the star eater? I'm not actually sure what this star eater is. I'm not sure what every single one of these do. And of course, you may want different ones. Okay, and we should be ready. We're gonna save patch firmware file. I understand usually save it to the desktop uh, of course this one's the, the 102 so we're just gonna save that uh, all you need to do next is really simple you just want to insert your SD card once we do that we just want to get here to it you see I already have the 101 file on there we don't really need it anymore we're gonna put on the 102. You just put it in the root menu of the SD card, let it transfer over, then you're done. Eject the card, and now we're gonna move on to the camera for the rest of this video. Okay, once you've uh, inserted your SD card, the rest is pretty easy from here. You just need to go to the camera's menu. You need to go to your main settings there. Down and find the firmware version. Uh, you see we're at 1.01. We just want to update. We're going to replace it with 1.02. Click yes. And now we just wait a bit uh, and I'll come back to it when it's done and show you the result. When it finished, all we had to do is go in, uh, turn the camera off and back on. You see we go to the firmware version and we are now set. As you can see, of course, it's probably going to be pretty hard to get it to focus really well. I'm having to use a rather large uh, lens uh, because this is my only autofocus lens. Um, now, when we hit the movie mode, you can see up top it says 42 minutes. There's still a little bit of a restriction on the video, and that's because the uh, file format system can only uh, be limited up to a 4 gigabyte file. So, of course, you still have some limits, but now we can record a lot longer before and have a bunch of new features. All right, so now you've learned how to uh, successfully hack the firmware on your Nikon, and now you have a ton of new features available to you. So get out there and enjoy them. If you're still having trouble with it for some reason, comment or send me a message, and I'll do my best to help you out.